Hi guys, this is my second video in Workshop Certify. Uh, in this uh, session, we will discuss about the UI of label in the Workshop Certify. First of all, uh, we have op to open the project. To open the project, click on Files, then Open Project. Then you are able to see uh, all the projects available for you in this uh, options. Then we click on the required project. Please note guys, this is the uh, all, only uh, whose access are available for you will be available in this list. This is the projects available for uh, me and I have opened this project. And then these are uh, all UI options available in Workshop Certify for the process point of view for automation point of view and the tool other options are available here now uh, these options are available like maps processes data variables results application user and group and if we want to uh, add or remove the more options we will add by using add or remove buttons we can add requirements user groups projects we and uh, these we can add we will discuss about the available options and uh, uh, actions available for respective options in workshop certify the first one is the maps if we click on the map then uh, this is the fold these are the folders or you can say that these are applications if we click here we uh, all the application which are as associated with our project is uh, visible here and uh, this is the application versions if we click on the application like this one like we have opened this uh, application here we have windows right uh, this is the windows for that application and if we click on the objects then the objects are available in that window guys it is same as the object repository and uh, like uh, we have application and if we click on the application we get the windows in windows we have multiple objects or many objects this is uh, uh, all things are available in the maps option maps uh, is basically the object repository and uh, we can we can maintain the page object model here guys now we come to the processes in processes these are the folders of uh, our application here we have this one is the process we can click on the new button it will create the new process and uh, we can edit the existing process by right clicking on that process we can edit delete also we can use the process usage means we can uh, we are able to know that uh, where this process is used now we come and these are the folder skies respective processes will be visible according to uh, their folders like uh, this folder contains these processes this one doesn't have process this has these six seven processes and all the process and everything execution or writing of the script will be happen in processes now we comes to the data data are basically guys the data available for uh, our processes here we can make the folders uh, uh, according to our requirement like we have uh, this one we are and here the layout is weather temp means this is the layout available in that guys what is the layout and what is the record set that uh, we will discuss in the next lectures basically uh, you can say that these are the data sets for any application any data for a particular process uh, will be get from uh, uh, layouts and according to layouts uh, uh, we have record sets also available 
this is the guys record sets like this is the layout and for that layout we have respective record set Lay, uh, what is layout guys uh, in brief we can say that uh, layout is something like it only contains the variable name it is just like template which contains the variable name that's it and the actual value will be available in the record set if we click on the edit layout then we are able to see that only this only this one variable is available in this uh, layout and uh, layout name is weather temp and variable is vr wind direction and uh, if we click on the record set then record set will contains the respective values for that variable like we have this wind direction variable and this is the value that is the wind direction and guys and now we will discuss about the variables all the data or uh, all the data variables user variables will be available in the variable tab of workshop certify in this similar way we can edit it we can add new folder for respective for making uh, more uh, opt uh, for making our uh, uh, arrangement more optimized make we can use <laughs> folder share sorry guys and uh, then in respective folder we can see the variables like these are the variables and if we click on the right click here we can add the new variable and uh, in new variable we can add the values like uh, if we click on the new variable new variable window open in this we can define a variable name for example i have taken the n1 way and data type of variable can be text numbers and date if we click on the number then default value will be zero if we click on the date then default value will be current date and if we want to modify this we can click on that we can add description of value guys if uh, it is password if we click on for example if we click on the text this is the text guys and initial value we have to define here if it is password then we can mask this value like uh, it is abc and that is the password if we click on the mask values then this value will not be visible this value is not visible if we click on unmask this then the value will be visible no no guys a uh, security don't allow masked variable to be unmasked due to security reason means you have only uh, one you okay we are able to uh, mask it unmask it and uh, now we go to the results this is uh, this uh, option contains the execution result of uh, our processes basically the this test case is passed and beside these are fail and the first one is aborted if we click on the past test cases and right click over it and we will click on the view then the respective result viewer will be opened and the process will be visible like this process is passed and the step is Ob uh, step is load browser and if we click on if we right click here we are able to edit this step like uh, this step is filled if we click on the edit step then respective uh, process will be open and uh, step will be visible and other option we can do we click on the reports we will 
we are able to create the three type of reports result summary which contains basically the summary of our execution results result details it is the most detailed uh, result view of uh, workshop certify and result record set result record set is medium uh, it contains the medium detail between summary and details if we click on the result record set uh, one report will be generated like guys we have clicked on this one and it will take time basically now like workshop if I cl we click workshop certify stopped working now we again log in workshop certify actually guys uh, some bug in our workshop certify project that's why it is if we click multiple time it will crash now we uh, talk about the applications guys these are all application available application is something like uh, system is the default application provided uh, with the workshop certify like uh, in system application guys we are able to do the respective options uh, available for uh, uh, respective option available for the operating system like uh, we can capture our screenshot of our windows we can uh, run the cmd commands in this way the uh, actions which are related to windows or you can say that operating system we can use in system application now uh, for respective application we can uh, create a new application like if we click on the new application then we can add the application name then type of application like if it is office application it is java application mobile application if it is windows application then we will use the silver light options and uh, then we then we will include that application into our project now this is the user group users and groups guys this uh, is for the administrator point of view like all the users are available here these are the users the access related to that user will be available in this and uh, now the more options we will discuss about the projects this is the project guys project is basically nothing but uh, we can add the applications in that project in which we will create the processes all the data variables everything will be under project we can assign the name of project here description and then the applications which we have created earlier will be listed here then we will select that application and will use that guys the, uh, that's it for uh, today's session we have discussed about the UI option available in the uh, workshop certify in the next video we will discuss about the further option available in the workshop certify yeah thank you guys let's meet in the next lecture